Hi everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. This video will be a Colibra tutorial for beginners. If you work with data, IT, analytics, finance, operations, then you already know the pain of scattered spreadsheets, unclear owners, and slow approvals. Colibra is a data governance and catalog platform that fixes that by giving you one place to find, trust, and manage your data. So I'll be walking you through how Colibra actually works, how you can find a data set, tracing lineage, setting policies, and more. If you would like to get started with Colibra and explore this powerful platform, go ahead and navigate to the link in the description down below, or you can book yourself a demo or access training. So here is what Colibra actually does. It is a data intelligence platform that helps you catalog data from warehouses, lakes, BI tools, and applications so people can search and discover what exists. It also helps you build a shared business glossary so terms like active customer mean the same thing across teams. You can also set roles and policies, who owns what, who can access what, and automate workflows for approvals. And then you can show data lineage like source to transforms to reports, so you can trace impact and fix issues faster. Think of it as your own company's data map plus dictionary plus rules and your to-do system all in one. Now when you first sign in you will land on the home and then from here you can have the global search at the very top. As you can start with plain English keywords like customer email or MRR dashboard and then you can get to browse the catalog as you can explore by community or domain or jump straight into tables, dashboards, reports, glossary terms and policies. Third, we've got the asset page anatomy where you can open any asset to see the overview of the description, owners and stewards, business context so you can see the linked glossary terms, policies and the PII or sensitivity tags, technical information, lineage graph, related assets and tasks and comments. This layout is consistent so once you learn one asset page you basically will know all of them. Now here's what you will usually do first as the order of operations is pretty much the same one that most teams roll out. First of all, you want to pick an operating model, so you want to decide your communities, domains, and the main roles. You connect sources using Calibra's, Harvesters, or Edge to scan metadata from your data platforms and BI tools. Seed a glossary with the add high value business terms so people share the same language. And then you curate and tag by linking terms or data sets and reports, adding tags, owners, and data classifications. You turn on the lineage, add quality signals, and then publish and promote. That's the backbone of how the operation works. And then Calibra can also show data quality scores and rules from Calibra Data Quality or from other DQ tools. On a data set page, it's common to expose the overall trust score, role checks, trend charts, incidents, or issues. And then the catalog will not just be what exists, but also what exists and can be trusted. Here is what a normal 30-day plan would look like. The first week would be to build a foundation as you can sketch your communities and domains, pick three key roles, draft a glossary starter list, of 10 to 12 or 15 terms and then you can identify one source system and one BI tool to connect first. The second week would be to connect and seed. As you can scan the first source and BI workspace, publish the first set of datasets and dashboards to the catalog. Tag each with an owner, steward, and sensitivity. The third week would be to enable lineage for the first domain and add a few business lineage diagrams where tech lineage is too dense. Surface basic quality signals even if it's just freshness and non-nulls to start. And then you can maybe launch a short training on how to search and request access. Finally, on the fourth week, you turn on simple access request work flow for those first datasets. Finalize the glossary terms and link them to real assets. And then you publish your start here page. Announce the trusted list in Slack or Teams and ask for feedback. Additionally, when it comes to the security and access, Calibra supports role-based permissions so people see only what they should. You can control who can view, edit, certify, or approve assets. And use classifications like PII or restricted to drive masking and access workflows in your downstream systems. In many setups, Colibra becomes the policy brain the other tools honor. So in conclusion, if your goal is to reduce guesswork, speed up analytics, and govern without friction, Colibra gives you the best building blocks. Again, you can go ahead and navigate to the link in the description below this video, request a demo, see what you can do with Colibra, and let us know what you think of it in the comments below this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you have found this video to be helpful and informative to watch, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos relating to this one.